new tonight calls for the impeachment of Attorney General Curtis Hill. Four women say Hill inappropriately touched them at a party last March. State House Bureau Chief David Williams just spoke with those women. He joins us live from the State House with what they had to say. David, good evening. Good evening, Brooke and Mike. Democrats there at Mara Candelaria Reardon just stood down the hall a little while ago and said she believes AG Curtis Hill should be impeached. Reardon and three other women who accused Hill still wanted to resign and step down. She told us just a little while ago she was the one who shouted resign at the top of her lungs on an upper floor here at the State House during AG Hill's media briefing this morning. Tonight, several state lawmakers are joining the call. That call is for Hill to be impeached. Last month, a special prosecutor found Hill hadn't committed any crimes despite the accusations against him. Reardon and three legislative staffers say Hill groped them while at a party to mark the end of the legislative session earlier this year. The dog and pony show, the propaganda machine that he was running downstairs, I had just had about enough of it. And he needs to, as I've said throughout this issue, this, in, this, you know, this uh, time, I've said he needs to accept responsibility, apologize, and resign. I've said it from the beginning. And I really believe that that is still what he needs to do. State Senator Tim Lannon told me he too believes A.G. Curtis Hill should be impeached. Brian Bosma told me earlier today there are more important topics to discuss, but if impeachment proceedings are presented to him, he says he will consider them. We have spoken to A.G. Curtis Hill's spokespeople. We're still waiting on comment from him about all this. When we hear from him, we'll let you know. For now, I'm David Williams, live inside the State House, Wish TV News 8.